the media uh, forms lots of opinions. It reinforces societal racisms. I think most of the racial problems we're having in this country currently would be because of the media and how certain things are portrayed. I, I just think the students need to realize the power of the medium of film, television, multimedia, and realize they have a social responsibility to use that medium appropriately. That's our charge here at this program. When I first met Professor Thomas, uh, one of the first things that stood out to me was his, uh, his charisma just really popped. And that's actually something that impressed me significantly, how he's able to handle a giant crowd, as well as um, be sensitive towards a subject or something so small that other people might consider to be insignificant. Boy, you know, you don't have a driving force like that, except for one thing, love. I'm sorry, it makes the world go round. And the fact that he's here and does what he does and is here 24 seven, it seems, is all out of passion. It's all out of really making it the best program for the students that he possibly could. My folks uh, grew up very hard in the South, you know, Jim Crow South. Mississippi. My father, at age 18, said he had enough, hoboed on a train to Ohio from Mississippi because he heard the steel mills were hiring. I think a very important lesson that I learned from my parents is that if you want to fight racism and injustice in this world, you do it with education, son. You do it with education. Well, what Nate brings to the program is beyond the classroom. Every semester, he's bringing in professional ADs, professional sound people, professional script supervisors, producers, every walk of life. It's bringing in that outside talent so the students are getting something that is way above what can just be learned in a classroom. If I could walk away with one thing that Professor Thomas has, has taught me, it would be that it's okay to make important films. I think the main thing that I've learned from Nate is patience. I've learned really to listen, to better figure out how each individual student has individual needs. And he's very attuned to that. I think my proudest accomplishment in life was A, finishing college, because I was the first generation in my family to do so to watch my mom cry, you know. Um, and I'm, I'm getting choked up because the other thing is that my mom passed three years ago and I would have loved for her to see me have won an Emmy and a Wong Award. On a personal note, I'd like to thank Nate for everything he does for this department, for the students, for the faculty, for everyone. He's like everyone's godfather. In fact, we should talk like this because he's so amazing and so caring and giving that uh, it makes you it makes you want to do a better job it makes you want to come up to his level his level of professionalism his level of caring his level of passion and i think that permeates the entire department